Welcome to Lessons with Mr. Clark. Today we'll, we will be learning about decimal place value. I have a video on whole number place value that you um, would be helpful if I'm moving a little too fast on this decimal place value stuff. Okay, so in the whole number video we learned about our periods. So we have, whenever we have a decimal to the right, we have ones, tens, hundreds. And then one thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, then one millions, ten millions, hundred millions. And we can repeat that process over and over to the left of the decimal. So now let's get to the right of the decimal. All right, so to the right of the decimal, we mirror to the left of the decimal, except we don't have the ones. And we actually add a th to the end. So we start with tenths. And then we go over to hundredths. And then we go to one thousandths, or we just say thousandths, the th. And we go to ten thousandths. And then we go hundred thousandths, and then one millionths, and then ten millionths, hundred millionths. And by then, we'd probably be in scientific notation. All right, so tenths, hundredths thousands, ten thousands. We will not go beyond that in today's lessons, but we could. Okay, so look over to the right here. Give the digits in the tens place with the number 170 and 458 thousands. The tens place value. So we always find the decimal, and then we have ones, tens, so there's this 70. The digit is a seven. The place value would be um, 70, but um, the digit is a seven. Okay, next we're gonna put it in the hundredths place. I always like to start at the decimal and just count tenths, hundredths, the five. Okay, let's do that again. Find the digits in the following place value. We have the number 210 and 5,632 5, ten thousandths. So the number in the hundredths, find the decimal. Ones, tens, hundreds, the two. Next, we want to find the tenths with the th. It's the five. Remember, there is no once place. It just starts tenths. Okay, then we go to the thousands. Tenths, hundreds, thousands. It's the three. All right, that's place value. Okay, so let's talk now about reading decimals. Um, there's a standard procedure for this. First, we read the number um, before the decimal point like we did on the other notes. Refer to that if needed. When we get to the decimal point, we say and. That's why we don't say and on the left side of the decimal point, because and means add a decimal. Then we'll read the number after the decimal, So step one and three look very similar. Okay, here's kind of the tricky part. Say the number of the place value at the end. Whatever is furthest to the right. Written. We could always go on and on forever with zeros on a number, but we're not going to do that here. Okay. So I've got some examples here. Step one. Read the number to the right of the decimal, 38. When we get to the decimal, say and, 38, and. Read the number after the decimal point, we say nine. Say the place value at the end. The nine is in the hundredths place. So faster, 38 and nine hundredths. It's not nine tenths. That's a different number than this, 38.9. That's 38 and 9 tenths. We're at 38 and 9 hundredths. All right, that's how we read decimals. Okay, see if you can do this next one here before I do it. Okay, you should have said step one, 1,430. Step two, and step three, 77. Step four, hundredths. 1,430 and 
77 hundredths. All right, let's get to this big one. Try it on your own. Okay, 321 million 48 and 46 ten thousandths. Did you get that? That one's kind of tricky. All right, now let's talk about writing decimals. We're going to write the number that comes before the word and, just like we did the other day. Then we'll place a decimal or a decimal point when we say the word and. So we're basically doing what we just did above. We'll read the last word to see how many decimal place values you need. Then we'll fill in the decimal with your number starting at the end. Use zeros to fill in the other spaces. Okay, so I wrote an example here just so you can see. If we have the number 402 and 3 hundredths, 402 and 3 hundredths, so we read 402, that was step one, and 3, read the last word, hundredths. Hundredths was my last word, so i got to put the 3 in the hundredths place, not the tenths place. We'll put a 0 in the tenths place. If not, you would do this, 402 and 3 hundredths. That's not 3 hundredths. That's 30 hundredths. It's not 402 and 3. There's nothing in the hundredths. That's 3 tenths. Okay, so it's not 402, 3 here without anything here. I've got to put a zero in there. It's 402 and 3 hundredths. I'm going to say a couple, and I want you to write them over here on the side before I do. Okay. Try this one. 102 and nine thousandths. One hundred two and nine thousandths. One hundred two and nine thousandths. Nine needs to be in the thousandths place. Tenths, hundredths, thousandths. All right, did you get it? One hundred two and nine thousand should be written like that. Let's give you another one. 26 and 54 hundredths. 26 and 54 hundredths. The four should be in the hundredths place. We're not annexing any zeros. 26 and 54 hundredths. All right, one last one. 13,000 and 13 thousandths. <laughs> 13,000 and 13 thousandths. Okay, so 13,000 and 13 thousandths. We're going to go all the way to the thousandths. Tens, hundreds, thousandths. 13 goes there, so we got to annex a zero. All right, in conclusion, today we learned about reading and writing decimals, so decimal place values. Thanks for joining. I hope you have a great day.